find all the trig ratios of the angle theta shown in the figure. We can see that the angle theta is in the third quadrant. I would like to redraw a portion of this diagram. In fact, if you want to write the coordinates of the point to draw them, we would have this point to be minus 1 and this point to be minus 2. I will redraw a portion of this diagram in this way. This is the center of the circle and then I have the radius then I have this. Now here is the angle theta this is minus 2. You can think of it as the um, length of one of the sides of the triangle this is hypothetical that is alright and then minus 1 as the other one. Now opposite to angle theta is minus 1 and adjacent to angle theta is minus 2. Tangent of theta is, as we know, opposite divided by adjacent. That would be minus 1 divided by minus 2, which gives us 1 by 2. We can immediately write the value for cotangent of theta, because cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tangent of theta. That is 1 over tangent of theta, or the reciprocal of 1 by 2, which is 2 by 1, which is 2. To find sine theta, cosine theta, secant and cosecant of theta, we need to have the hypotenuse. From the Pythagorean theorem, we realize that the hypotenuse squared is minus 1 squared plus minus 2 squared. That is 1 plus 4, which is 5. Therefore, the hypotenuse could be plus root 5 or minus root 5. And since we're dealing with the radius, we discard minus root 5. So I'm going to put this plus root 5 back here, root 5. Now, sine theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse. That would be minus 1 divided by root 5. We can immediately write the value of cosecant of theta, because cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of sine theta, which is 1 over sine theta, and that would be root 5 divided by minus 1, which is minus root 5. Cosine of theta would be adjacent over hypotenuse and that becomes minus 2 divided by root 5. Secant of theta is the reciprocal of cosine of theta. That becomes root 5 divided by minus 2, which is minus root 5 divided by 2. Therefore, we have found all the six trigonometric ratios that we were looking for. We note that both sine and cosine turn out to be negative. And that makes sense because as we can see from the original diagram, theta is in the, first, in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant we know that both sine and cosine of theta are negative. Tangent of theta turned out to be positive. And that makes sense as well, because in the third quadrant, tangent of theta is positive.